Happy New Year! 2022 is over and after I've trimmed my face, I thought I would take a look back at my year of astronomy. I see 2022 as a kind of revival for me in the world of astronomy. I've been doing visual astronomy since I was a teenager and I got my first real telescope in 2012, almost 11 years ago. It was my Nexstar 6 SE. And although I took a really deep dive back into astronomy in mid-2021, 2022 was the first year since 2014 where I've done some kind of astronomy every single month of the year. Not only that, I went back to hosting star parties for friends and colleagues and family. Between 2012 and 2014, I hosted a whole bunch of them whenever I could during planetary season with my SCT and I showed as many people as I could the wonders of space. In 2022, I hosted four star parties with friends and colleagues and family and I planned on doing two more but the weather didn't cooperate. Hopefully I'll get that chance again in 2023. Although I dabbled with Nina and Astroberry in 2021, I didn't do a really deep dive into it until January 2022, and I loved both pieces of software, but I decided to focus on Astroberry for most of the year. I'm hoping 2023 I'll get more time to focus on Nina. During this year, I imaged galaxies, star clusters, nebulae, the moon, eclipses, conjunctions, and I was lucky enough to image Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars all at opposition. It's the first year I've been able to do that since I started astronomy. I also caught the planetary alignment back in July where the five naked eye planets were visible all in one shot. And Uranus popped up in my lunar eclipse shot back in November as just a few pixels, but I'll still count it as me taking a picture of Uranus. So Neptune, I'll catch you next year. As for equipment, I added two new telescopes to my arsenal. The first one is the AT60ED made by Astrotech. It has been absolutely amazing. So check out my video reviewing the AT60ED somewhere, you know, in a card or in the description, somewhere there's a link. And then I also added the TPO 6 inch F4 Imaging Newtonian over the summer. I, I used it far less than the AT60, but I can tell you from what I've used so far, it's been a really great telescope. And it's gonna get a real test this galaxy season. So I'm hoping I can start imaging with it in January, hoping for some good weather. So I'll be reviewing that telescope uh, after I've used it for six to eight months. So watch out for that as well. I had my Canon T2i for 10 years and earlier this year, I decided to astromod it so that I can capture H alpha data from nebulae. And I feel like it gave my astrophotography new life because I was able to see so much more than I used to, especially when I combined it with my L enhance filter. I caught emission nebulae after emission nebulae after emission nebulae for months. And then I decided to get myself the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro cooled astro cam. And I kind of wish I got this earlier because being able to take darks from home is a game changer. And the amount of noise in this is so much less than any DSLR that I've ever used. But you know, no regrets looking back in the past. My T2i has been amazing and moving forward, I'll be using this mostly for deep space and I'll save my T2i for, for nightscapes, landscapes and star trails. And lastly, for equipment, I also started auto guiding using a guide scope and a guide camera. I'm working on a video of how I do that uh, using Astroberry, so come back and check that out when I have that up. In 2023, I plan to switch to an OAG. I got myself both the ZWO OAG for my smaller telescopes, and I also have the Celestron OAG for my SCT, which, which I've had trouble with uh, using the ZWO OAG when I did some tests earlier this year. In summary, 2022 has been amazing for me in terms of astronomy. And I'm lucky that I have a view of the northeast part of the sky where a lot of great constellations have, that have kept me busy over the past year. I plan to keep on learning in 2023 and I hope I can share my experience with you in the new year as well. I've captured a lot more images than I have processed. So I have a backlog of about a dozen or so objects that I've never processed and shared with the world. So I'm hoping to create a couple of uh, Let's Edit videos where I show you my process of editing, uh, processing and editing these images in AstroPixel Processor and Photoshop. And I'm hoping to go into PixInsight in the new year as well, because I hear this thing about Blur Exterminator being an amazing thing, and I wanna, I wanna give it a try. And I'm thankful for everyone who has ever watched my videos, who have commented, who have shared, who have liked my videos, and even those who have disliked my videos. But I hope I can keep bringing you quality content in 2023. And if you ever have any questions, if you wanna talk about astronomy, astrophotography, space, uh, whatever, feel free to reach out to me. I try to 
reply to everyone who comments. Uh, you can find me on other social media, uh, links to all those in the description below. And I really hope you all have a wonderful 2023. Thank you for spending time with me in 2022. And last but not least, I wish you all very many clear skies in 2023. Uh, not enough to cause droughts though. So uh, have a good one.